says when all your knees shall bow and worship me and every tongue of yours confess that I am Lord I'm waiting on you I'll give you an open heaven and I'll anoint your prayers this day and I'll move my sovereign hand across this nation. Yes, Lord, we hear you. Where every knee shall bow and worship you. And every tongue confess that you are about having a vision for God. We need to hear his heart even in the songs we sing because if we don't truly listen to the words that he's speaking through them and he is speaking to us, we'll miss out. We'll miss out on so much and he doesn't want us to do that. He's called us to this hour if you're living today, you've been called to this hour and he desires to lift you up to a place where he can use you. And that comes by tearing you down to your very foundation where he can build upon it. His glory and honor. Help me know you are here. For the Lord would say, I'm searching across the face of the earth for those that will truly surrender their all to me. For yes, there are many that will say those words, but there are few be that will truly back them up with action, says God. And I'm saying, my people, the time has come for you to put your foot down and be solid and firm in your commitment. It's time for you to rise up it's time for you to be a demonstration across the land for look at your world. Look what you have allowed, says God. Look at what you have done. For as you have set back and allowed things to get worse and worse, you must come to grips with the reality now and rise up as my child and as my warrior to do what I have called you to do. For even in this night, as you open your heart and receive what I have to give, you will walk in victorious battles and you will see the victories because you will no longer be held back by that complacency. You will no longer be held back by that compromise. Yes, those things the enemy has twisted and worked around in your hearts and lives so you have been futile, that you have been vain, and you have been powerless before me and to this lost and dying world. You need to recognize, my people, that I have waited and waited for such an hour as this that you would hear my voice. Oh, you say you hear me. But what do you do with what your eyes say? How do you respond with my words? 
Oh, I have said so many things, and so many say, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. But so many have said it in vain. For without action, there is no obedience. And so I call my people to this time and this place, this time in eternity, to recognize your place. You must rise up. You must take hold of what I'm speaking now and engage in the power from on high that I am releasing across the land. Yes, those that will hear my voice and will say yes to me will rise up in a power and authority that they have never known. For the word of God will become active and violent within them to do what I please and to establish my righteousness across the land. Hear me, my people, and draw close to me. Allow me to work in you what needs to be worked and removed so that you will be fit for the Father's use. Yes, the time has come for action, my people, and your response is necessary, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we will respond. Yes. We, will, we will search our hearts, Lord, and I'm sure as you minister through me tonight, God, in this word, as you minister, Father, I know, I'm, I know, I'm, <laughs> I know, I know, I am battered and worked over by what you have said. Oh, Jesus, help us, Lord. 